Police in two states are still wondering how a mother ended up dead in the trunk of a car. When Eleni Casa's family reported her missing, they held on to hope she'd be found safe. Unfortunately, their worst fears were confirmed instead. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs tells us how domestic violence could have played a factor in this case. Heartbroken, saddened. Um, it's so hard to watch. Um, and see um, anyone lose their life, but especially in a domestic violence situation. Erica Downing at the Domestic Violence and Sexual Assault Center in Murfreesboro says she sees cases like Ilani Casas all too often. Murfreesboro police think there was some sort of domestic violence incident between Ilani and her girlfriend, Dominique Hardwick, following an argument at Ilani's apartment. We're praying for the family. I'm praying for their peace um, as they walk through this tragic Loss. Alani's family reported her missing after she didn't pick up her daughter from school. She left her cell phone and Dodge Charger at her apartment. But her car was spotted by police in Ohio and Michigan using license plate readers. Officers in Dearborn, Michigan tried to stop the car on Sunday afternoon. Hardwick was driving and another woman was in the passenger seat. Hardwick refused to stop but eventually crashed the car and fired on police before shooting herself. Ilani was later discovered dead in the trunk. Police in Murfreesboro say there was another incident back in August. Hardwick was arrested after an argument turned physical. I hope that this brings a spotlight and awareness to the fact that domestic violence does exist. Um, it can end in tragedy, but there are agencies like myself and other agencies across the state of Tennessee that are here to help. Downing says if anyone needs help, not to hesitate to reach out. In Murfreesboro, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.